just gonna apologize in advance. Uh, I'm upstairs today, and I have dogs. Actually, can you see? Hey, hey, you're a dog. Anyway, my dogs really like to bark a lot. They love to bark. So um, if they bark, I'm sorry. Um, what's up? My name's Wolf. I, I like I always do dumb intros, and then. I really like, I don't have a non-dumb intro. Like all my intros are only stupid. It's like stupid or no intro. Um, anyway, today we're using the team that I brought to U.S. Nationals. Um, there was some criticism on my last video. Um, I don't really take it personally or anything. Uh, but some people like felt uh, were maybe frustrated that there weren't as many serious competitive videos going up um, as of late because I was visiting friends this week. Um, my friend Robbie down in Blacksburg and other friends as well, um, who I went to school and um, I didn't I didn't pre-record so I had to record while I was there so I kind of just did what I already had like use teams that I already had um, and I felt like I, I streamed with this team so I, I was kind of like I didn't feel like using it as much as I felt like using some of my other teams but people were you know people were I think people wanted to see you know people watch my channel for different reasons and one of the reasons is they want to see like high level Pokemon I think they I don't know there was so anyway people wanted to see some high level Pokemon so this is I'm this is gonna be a serious episode. Um, cause I know I have been doing some more goofy stuff as of late, so I'm, I'm going to play this very seriously. Um, before I do jump into it though, I do want to say that, um, I've been meaning to do this for a while and I literally, I just, every single time I would forget, but let me pick my Pokemon actually. Um, let's see. Volcarona is not amazing here because he's got, um, Ments, although Volcarona kind of beats everything else. Hitmontop looks amazing. Coco looks really good. I think we should go Hitmontop, Coco lead. That looks like it puts a lot of pressure on a lot of this Pokemon. Um, Tyranitar is definitely coming this game. Uh, hit on top and Coco give me because it specs Coco. It gives me like a lot of really fast damage output. Also, he's got two normal. He's got three Pokemon weak to fighting and Nihiligo, so hit on top on its own threatens a lot. Um, and Coco's our best special attacker, except for uh, Landorus, but it's also our fastest Pokemon and can pivot really easily. Um, so that leads either Volcarona, Amoongus, or Landorus as the fourth. Um, because we've got, I don't think we want Amoongus here because he's got Nile. He's got uh, Cartana. Uh, and Cinderor and Feenies uh, and Salamence. So we probably don't want Amoongus. And be for similar reasons, I think we don't want Volcarona because he's got Nihiligo and Tepafini and Salamence. So I think that kind of by default leaves Landorus as the last. Um, this core is the worst defensive synergy or one of the worst defensive synergies out of the whole team. So we're going to have to be careful with switching around and stuff, but hopefully we can, we can use him on top to kind of um, create some openings for us uh, by using kind of using offensive pressure and using like offensive pressure with all the Pokemon because they all offer offensive pressure and then um, using Hitmontop's Wide Guard and Fake Out Intimidate to kind of create some space for ourselves. That's the game plan here. Anyway, meaning to do this for a while, um, if you're interested in watching more serious VGC content, I seriously recommend you go check out James Beck. Um, he is a content creator. He does YouTube. He won the Toronto Regional Championships this season and got top four, and he consistently puts out really good VGC videos. So um, in one of my comments, somebody was like, yeah, like I feel frustrated because you know Wolf's not putting out um, that many competitive battles, and I, like, there's not that many competitive, uh, like, VGC creators, I do seriously recommend you check out James Beck, also just the nicest guy, um, really, really nice guy, Menson Tenora, that's a fine lead for us, that's super fine, um, leading both Intimidators, actually, is really nice for us, um, but yeah, seriously, I'll link his channel down below, I'll put it in the comments, um, I'm just gonna go really quickly pull it up, because he's, he's, su James is super, like, I feel like he's super underappreciated, because he consistently puts out James Beck, yeah, James has, I think, three... Hang on, let me check this. I think James has three times as many videos as I have. How many videos do I have? How, where does it say? Hang on. Give me one sec. I know what I'm doing this turn. I'm going to switch hit on top into Tyranitar. Okay, so I have 320 videos, and James has 947. Um, and he does he does almost daily videos, and yeah, with lots of different teams as well. Um, and obviously, he's, he's doing really well this season. So seriously, go check him out. Um, if, you're, if you're interested in getting better... Pretty much regardless, um, really underrated content creator. There are other people as well who I need to shout out, but I don't know who they are off the top of my head. Like I don't, I don't want, I don't want to miss somebody. So, as I remember, people who deserve a shout out, I will, I will do it here. Um, there's a good chance I think that he goes for fake out into Coco. I feel like that would be a nice move. However, um, even if he, look, I don't think he would earthquake here, and Talon doesn't super threaten anything, and getting him on top off the field is also nice. He actually just meant out, but he doesn't have a ground type, so it's not illegal. Okay, cool. Um, so if we're able to get a Voltage off here, that'd be super nice. He does reset one of his Intimidators, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but again, not the end of the world. We're just I'm just kind of curious as to whether or not this thing is um, Scarf, not Ligo. Because he brought it in really confidently. Uh, we do give him a Special Defense boost, and he goes to go for a Fake Out into a Tyranitar, actually. So that's perfect. Um, so we'll go for a big Volt Switch here. Okay, so because of the Special Defense boost, we don't really do any damage. Which is a little bit annoying. Um... 
So we we went for Volt Switch, right? I think Tyrandra is really well positioned here. It's not traditionally threatened by either of these Pokemon. So either we go into Hitmontop, um, which is kind of like a safer... It gives us... A, it kind of buys us a turn. Um, I think pretty much regardless, we can expect Incineroar to go into Salamence. So the only question is, do we want to go into Hitmontop? Um, I think we want to go Hitmontop to bait out the Incineroar. And then we can Mega Evolve Dragon Dance. Um, so we have Speed and Nihil Lego. And then go, like... Sorry, let me, let me explain this. I'm going into it on top for two reasons. One, because I want to I want to make him protect here, and I also want to lower his Incineroar's attack even lower, um, because I want to put him in a situation where he wants to he wants to play defense this turn, probably switching Incineroar out, um, probably into Salamence, and maybe protecting his Nihiligo. And I also wanted to I want to make sure that even if he low kicks for some reason, that Tyranitar will survive. And also I want to make it so. Um, if he attacks Hitmontop, he'll probably use Sludge Bomb this turn, which gives me kind of a safer switch into Landorus. Whereas if I went into Landorus first, um, he could use it like if he has Hidden Power Ice, he could he could use that, and I couldn't like protect twice. But by doing this play, by by going to Hitmontop with the intention of switching it out immediately, I'm kind of creating a second protect for myself. Um, where he if he if he Sludge Bombs this turn, I can I can Dragon this this turn and then protect next turn as well. Um, so he switches Incineroar out. This is what we expected. This might be Cortana as well. It's not, yeah, it is Salamence. So that that was a good move. On his part, um, and now we get to see what the Nihiligo wants to go for because our turn chart is back to neutral um, after this Dragon Dance. So ideally, his Nihiligo would protect here. That would be kind of ideal, uh, to say the least. Um, but even if it doesn't, like, unfortunately, after he can he can go back into Incineroar. Um, he goes for protect. Awesome. So that that's really good. Um, he can go back into Incineroar, and then my Crunch will not KO. But at this point, the speed boost is really nice because I can go for a Rock Slide with Turn. I think I want a Rock Slide here regardless because it'll two hit KO Nihilo go after even after Intimidate. Um, the only question is, do I want to Rock Slide uh, and sub or or protect, or do I want to go back into Hit on top? Um, I definitely want to Rock Slide. I'm definitely rock sliding here because it does good damage. If he goes into Incineroar, he's taking a minus from rock slide, but it's, it's chip damage that I need. Um, it also might put Incineroar into Thunderbolt later in the game, so that's good. Um, so the only question is, do I want to do I want to protect Landorus or do I want to go back into Hitmontop? on top? And I think going back into Hitmontop on top is a solid play. Um, I don't really expect him to return the Landorus here. I think he's got better options, and he's got to be worried about. Um, hmm. Oh, Cortana actually comes in, so that that's interesting. He could actually double switch here. He could go Mens. Switch Mence out as well um, into Incineroar, and that would be a really good play on his part. We do get the Intimidate off on the Cortana, which is really important in my opinion. Um, probably the worst case scenario here is if he goes attacks. Yeah, okay, never mind. If he if he had returned Landorus there, because Hit on top actually doesn't live at return even after an Intimidate. Um, but instead he goes Incineroar, which is fine. Um, he is spamming Intimidate pretty effectively, I would say. Uh, Cortana avoiding is only annoying if it's Focus Sash. Uh, on this team, it's... I feel like it's... Oh, that did some good damage. After a uh, Sandstorm, yeah, it'll be in range. Hmm. Okay, let's kind of take a, let's kind of take stock of the situation. We've got boosted Tyranitars looking really scary. Um, however, if we're not careful, even though this Cortana is intimidated, we, we will get caught off by that Cortana. So I think I'm actually going to switch out here. Um... I think it's actually worth it for me to go for Z-Close Combat here into Cortana. Um, I'm try if I can get rid of this Cortana, Tyranitar looks really strong. Um, because he's, he's, his Incineroar obviously can't take another in minus one Intimidate, or minus one Rock Slide. Um, he could go he could go Incineroar into Mence here, that would be a good move as well. Although, he'd take a minus two Rock Slide. Yeah, I guess we're fake out, let's see what this is into. Into him on top, actually. So that seems really risky to me, but it obviously worked. Oh, he doubles him on top. Um, did not expect that. That was a really good play on his part. I could have just... That was a really risky play on his part, to be honest. Like, that could have really backfired. But it, it didn't, obviously, so. Um, okay. So now we've got Landorus in. I think we want to sub, to be honest. And I think we're going to go back into Coco. Um, the, the electric train ends this turn. However, uh, we should be able to take a hit. And we, we, can't, we really can't afford to let um, to let him on top go down just yet. We need him on top in this game still. Um, I also am curious to see if his Cortana is outsped. Some people are going bulky Cortana, which in my opinion is a trend that can be really capitalized uh, on by Pokemon like Landorus. Like, so if my Landorus outspeed his Cortana, he's going to be in a, in a lot of trouble. Let's see what he does, though. He stays in with Cortana. He switches into Nora. This might be Nihiligo or Ments. It is Ments. Okay, cool. So that's fine. Um, let's see what Cortana does. Because it could go for a Bloom Dim. It could go for a Sub. It could go for a Protect. Sub would obviously be the worst option for us. He's slower than us. Okay. It could also go for Z-Talent. Leaf Blade, okay. No crit, which is nice. Sandstorm subsides. He could be a Salt Vest. 
Um, did a lot of damage. I'm going to go for Z-Ground here. Into Katana. And I'm going to go for a big Volt Switch into the Salamence. We'll guarantee that's beat the Salamence. We'll do some damage to the Salamence. Um, and... How could this go badly? I guess if he protects Cortana and Hyper Voices, that's probably the worst case scenario. Although I'm kind of getting this, he's played really aggressively with his Cortana, so I'm kind of feeling like he might not have Protect, maybe he's a Solfest. So we're just Silence out actually, so I wonder who he's going into. It is Incineroar, okay. Um, not entirely sure why Incineroar wants to come in here. I obviously don't need my physical attack with my Landorus. We'll, we'll just see what happens. He doesn't Protect, so Voltage is coming out. Um, we do kill the Incineroar. I think this is a chance for us to win this game. I think that um, even if he Sash, he can't KO. He can't hit Tyranitar and at the same time, um, he can't hit Tyranitar and at the same time break my Sash. So in the worst case, I either have all of Tyranitar or I have my Sash or my Substitute still intact, not my Focus Sash. So um, we know Landers outspeeds, and it might have been better to go and hit him on top. I think it would have been better to go and hit him on top, but I was I was kind of feeling like. I think actually it's okay either way because like yeah it's exactly like what I said like uh, he can't KO he can't KO Tyranitar and I don't even think minus one Leaf Blade KOs to be honest but he can't he can't hit Tyranitar and Landorus' sub at the same time um, and Landorus is looking really strong versus like it can Oko the last two mons of this team or KO from where they're at I guess um, especially because Coco's still around as well and we have hit on top as well so let's see if he's sashed and the Rock Slide missed earlier mattered a lot but it just KOs so it doesn't matter um, nice And now he has an Illegal and Solomon's in the back. Um, we can just go for a big Earth Power Dragon yet. I think that should win this game. Yeah. Because I don't think a Salamence will have any way of stopping Tyranitar. Or an Illegal for that matter. Yeah, so basically, I, I, I my other option here is I could go I could go um, into, into Hitmontop. Because obviously, like if I can keep Landorus to sub around, that'd be great. But I'm kind of going to force him to let me either take a KO or get a Dragon Dance up. And I think that choice should win me the game. Because, the only way, again, the only way he gets rid of Landorus' sub is if he goes for... Uh, double attack, and if he does that, then Tyranitar gets him with free, like full HP for free. Um, so I don't think he should be able to stop this combination. He does Mega Evolve, which is good because, yeah, he has no reason to stay non Mega at this point. And again, people are running slow Salamence, people are running slow Night Legal. Like, it's not impossible that my Landers could outspeed e both of these mons. Um, it's Scarf Night Legal, or it's really fast. Yeah, he breaks my sub, um, which is fine. It might be Scarf and Iliga. We Oh, no, it's not. It is Protect. Oh, it's just really slow Salamence. Okay. <laughs> oh, LOL. Yeah, and that should do it. Yeah, Return comes out. I'm actually surprised Landorus was KO'd to that, uh, but it's fine. And now at this point, like, we always win the game. Um, we, like, I'll just do the stuff that seems like the most sense to me. So I'll go hit him on top, and then I'll fake out and Dragon Dance again. And then I'll go for Crunch Wide Guard, or Helping Hand Crunch. Both are fine. Um, helping Hand Crunch is probably better. Yeah. Because, yeah, and then I could Wide Guard next turn, or just switch him on top out if I wanted. But yeah, this game is over. I think I don't think there's any way he can take plus one helping hand crunch, but, um, while still dealing with Coco on the back. Uh, on the back, take a dragon dance, and I think I'll forfeit this turn. No, he actually stays. Ah, um, stays in. Chip damage is nice. Probably. I think he's definitely in range of helping hand crunch at this point. We could we could wide guard. I'm just trying to think of like a guaranteed win condition. Um, and I think this should be it. The, the sand chip damage is also, like, it adds up pretty quickly. Um, we're going for Crunch because, it, like, in the worst case scenario where I miss, like, several rock, uh, rock slides and he has, he has, um, Dragon Dance. Like, there's, that's, like, that's the only way out that I see for him. Because if he's not faster, if he doesn't raise his speed, then Hidden Power Ice Coco or even Thunderbolt Coco can come in and clean this up. So, just going for guaranteed damage is really nice. Um, because even if helping, even if I didn't know my Calx and helping him Crunch didn't KO, which is, he's obviously bulky, so it's in theory possible... He can't Dragon Dance and KO my Mons, but yeah, as I expected, it was enough damage, so... That's the first game for us. We're above 1500, so if we can win the next one, then we'll be above 1500 uh, at the end of the episode, which would be nice. But yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, I think getting the sub up on Landorus was a really big turning point in that game, because it gave us a lot of momentum. Um, uh, what other big turns were there? Getting Tyranitar in early game and like using that to kind of be, like be the focus of his attention. Obviously, it didn't do a ton of damage, but the damage it did to Incineroar ended up being important because it put in a range of Coco. 
So, um, yeah, that was important. But yeah, I think the big thing there was Landorus. And also using Hitmontop well. I think we used Hitmontop very well that game, um, bringing it in and out as needed. 1484 Dario from Italy, from Sicily. Let's see. Toga Damaru, Landorus T, Alolan Muk, Tepufini, and Cartana, and Charizard. Probably Charizard Y because he's got uh, Toga Damaru and Landorus, both of which are really good against Electrics types. So, I don't have a lot of experience with Muk, um, to be honest, with this kind of team. Tyranitar is obviously coming to this matchup. Landorus I looks really good. Hitmontop looks good. Um, we're not going to bring Coco because he's got Fini. Oh, sorry, because he's got Toga Damaru. Um... I think something like Hitmontop and Landorus could be a really solid lead. It gets us an immediate Intimidate off. Uh, we definitely want Tyranitar in the back. And then for the last Pokemon, the Fini is going to be problematic. Um, we could also go... I think we actually might want to go... Titar up front. Because that's also... Like, it depends on what we think he's going to lead. Like, Tapu Fini is going to be tricky, basically. Regardless of what I do with, with the Pokemon I intend on bringing. I think I'll go with Tyranitar up front, actually. And now we're going to go hit my top of the front. Turn, turn back. And then, like, pretty much regardless, we're going to have trouble with Tapu Fini. So I'm going to go with Volcarona. Um, because I don't. if I bring Amoongus, I'm going to have, like, I'm going to be relying entirely on Charizard and, I mean, Tyranitar and Landorus for damage output. And if I bring Coco, there's a good chance I'll be in a position where I can't do any damage. So pretty much none of my mons are great here as the fourth. But I'm going Volcarona because if I position it correctly, I can sweep. Um... If I, if I support it well with Hitmontop, I can sweep. Like, once I get Feeny to burn the Z-move, I can wall it with Wide Guard plus Quiver Dance. Um, I can wall the Feeny with Wide Guard and Quiver Dance. Um, yeah, and his team doesn't have amazing... It's just, like, Volcarona is not an easy Pokemon to set up here, but it, it can, like, potentially sweep if it gets boosted and is supported correctly. So, Togedemar with Katana. Um, that's an interesting lead for my opponent, uh, but not super bad for us, I don't think. This almost makes it look to me like he wants to go for some kind of Tailwind shenanigans. But that's fine, because this also gives us an opportunity to, to get Volcarona in. Neither of these Pokemon are extremely threatening to Volcarona. So the only option, the only question here is, do we want to, like... Because we could, we could fake out Earth Power as the other option for turn one. I think, actually, fake out plus sub is a pretty solid move here. Um, because if he fake outs him on top, then we get a free sub. We get a sub up, and we get to see what he wants to do. And if he goes for fake out into Landorus, then we just trade fake outs. So I think this is a fine move, even though I, I'm going to go into Volcarona turn two. Um, but yeah, it kind of, it kind of puts us in, I kind of, maybe Z Earth Power is better, but I kind of want to go for sub just, just so I don't, to make sure I don't lose my Landorus right away. Cause this is, Landorus is pretty important in this game. Um, and I'm not worried about Encore from Token tomorrow, even though I don't think he would Encore Landorus regardless, but let's see what happens because I have Z Ground, but it goes into Hitmontop. Okay. So Hitmontop flinches. I forgot that Cartana outsped Landorus. Wow. That was not my, that was not my brightest move. I like totally forgot Cartana outsped Landorus. Yeah, so it's, it's Z-Tail and Cortana, so if we'd gone for... Hmm. Okay, well that was bad. Um, so obviously I can KO the... I can KO the... Cortana this turn with Z-Ground, but I'm not going to because... Um, I'm worried about... I'm worried about him bringing in Feeny under Tailwind and me just losing from there. So I'm going to burn this turn... It's actually better that I didn't attack there. So he just goes Togemar out. And Landorus comes in. Okay. Um, that's not amazing for us. Although it is good that he has Landorus, because Landorus is one of the easier Pokemon for our team to beat. Um, I never I feel like I never get flame bodies, but um we'll see. We'll see what he wants to do this turn with Cartana. So this is turn two of Tailwind. Uh unfortunately Leaf Blade's always gonna crit. So that's not ideal, but I could have just KO the I really could have just KO'd the Cartana there if I wanted. Let's see. Leaf Blade comes out. Into Volcarona. It, it's going to crit. It's going to do a lot of damage. It actually doesn't do that much because we're four times resist. Let's see. I literally never get flame bodies. It's actually really surprising to me. Um, we're going to go out here into... Hit on top. Is it worth going for Z-Ground? I, I think I want to save Z-Ground. Earth Power should do enough. These Kartana are rarely... Like, if he's got Z-Tailwind he's, and he's max... We know he's faster than Landorus. Um, oh, no. The dogs might bark. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, dogs are definitely going to bark my mom's home. Sorry, guys. I'm going to apologize in advance. Okay, it's Scarf Landers, so it's good that we switch there. Um, because this isn't going to break the sub after the Intimidate. Unless he crits. He doesn't. Okay, cool. Hello. 
And this should KO. And it's good that we know that he's Scarf Landorus. Um, if this doesn't KO, we're in trouble. Okay, good. Okay, I don't think the crit mattered. Cortana without investment has like no special bulk. And based on those rolls, like he was probably max speed, max attack. I can't believe I forgot that Cortana outsped <laughs> Landorus. I'm just used to them not. <laughs> Whoops. I actually fought a slow Z tail in Cortana uh, before. Like, it was, like, underspeeding my landers, even though it was Z-Tailwind. Which I guess makes some sense, because, like, you don't, if you're going Z-Tailwind, then you, like, get the speed anyway. But I still thought it was funny. Togemaru comes back in, which is fine, because he has no offense. <coughs> you're right, Chief. Um, I think we want to go for sub here in close combat. That landers isn't threatening us. The Togemaru isn't threatening us offensively. So this guarantees we either get a sub or we bring the Togemaru down to its sash. Um... And then from there, it's the last turn of Tailwind, so I think the Landers probably wants to switch out here because it can't really do anything by staying in. Hello. Good. Sorry, I'm just recording, but I'll uh, I'll be done soon. Yes. That's a big crit. Yes. Ah, uh, actually, late. I already had lunch, so I'll eat. Uh. Thanks, Ma. Yeah, he did a great job. Yes. Yeah, I was going to take them out in, like, five minutes. Um, we can wall this. We can wall this. Yeah, sorry. Shadow is my other one. Shad. The crit's not super bad there, to be honest. Like, so the thing about the crit there is that um, it's, it's kind of unfortunate. Ooh, okay. But not super unfortunate. I guess Z ground might have been better. Because uh, we're still behind the sub. I still don't think this token of can touch us. Truthfully. We know it's Scarf Landorus. Um, so, like, it's not super threatening. Um, I don't think this token of can touch us either, to be honest. Um, I'm definitely going to Earth Power here. I think I'm actually going to go for Earth Power into token of and close combat into token of I think he's probably going to switch Landorus out. Should I Earth Power the switch in? Nah, I'm just going to take out the... I'm just going to... I'm just going to... I'm just going to... I'm just going to... I'm going to wide... Nah, I'm going to close combat. He might have Charizard as the last, in which case he's in a lot of trouble. In a non-zero amount of trouble. He switches out, so it's a good thing we didn't wide guard, because that would have been useless. It's <laughs> Okay, it's Muck. <laughs> I knew I should Earth Powered that slot. Alright, Earth Power comes out. Uh, it's going to be Sash token tomorrow, almost certainly. If he isn't, I'd be shocked. It is Sash, so that's fine. Um, we do want to make sure we don't lose him on top. It would be really nice to not lose him on top. Oh yeah, of course that's into wide guard, okay. <laughs> Good job, I'm top. Proud of you. Um, so now he knows we're locked into uh, wide guard. I think we want to go for hidden power here onto something. We just have to say which one's which one's leaving the field. I think Togemaru is leaving the field. Are we intimidated? We are not. Eh, we'll just stay with him on top. We could go into Titar. That'd be a solid a solid option. I think we probably should have gone to Titar in hindsight. Okay, but we called the switch correctly, which is nice. I figure, like, Togedomaru can't do anything there, and if he gets Togedomaru out, he gets another chance to, um, fake out, potentially. I thought his muck would protect, though. That was interesting, to not protect there. We do get a big hidden power off. Ah, uh, this has a good chance to KO, actually. Big damage. Alright, so that should seal it up, because I don't see a muck plus... I don't, I don't think Mach can win this game on his own, and with to even with Togo tomorrow. Knockoff comes out um, to Landorus, should break the sash. So now is a time where the fact that he crit earlier is actually kind of a, you know, it's kind of noticeable. Um, because uh, I'm in range of Shadow Sneak, which is not amazing. Togo tomorrow comes out. Um, we should have a guaranteed win here, I think. I just don't know how to do do it. But I think Protect here is fine. I'm going to get him on top out just because it's nice to save. Um, I don't think Muck can beat Tornitar, so I'm going to go into Volcarona here. So Because like even in the worst case, which is Volcarona goes down, uh, we still win.
which is nice. Yeah, if we twitched out last turn, uh, hit him on top out last turn into like something like Volcarona Tornitar, that would be really nice. Um, but we didn't, so it's fine. But yeah, that's probably a move that I could have done that would have been better, like because we didn't need him on top of the field for anything. Um, we probably would have gone into Tornitar because, um, because yeah, maybe I don't know, maybe it was two turns ago we should have switched out. Yeah, because we didn't want Volcarona to take a rock slide. Uh, but we'll see. This is probably fake out plus something, maybe poison jab or gunk shot. Even if Volcarona goes down, it's not a huge deal. Yeah, so we might not have Shadow Sneak. Poison Jab. Alright, this should proc our berry and potentially burn. A burn would be nice. I literally never burn. I don't think I've gotten a single flame body burn in my whole life. There's no burns. See? No burns. Um, we're gonna go for Z Ground. And Quiver Dance. T Tar, even T Tar plus hit on top could could clean up this game, to be honest, in my opinion. And every time he, he oh wow he didn't even yeah uh, it could be a salt that's mock I think that's possible but even still even if it's a salt vest I don't I like I don't think it's living this and then even if it even in the worst case that it is a salt vest and it lives it's not it doesn't have any health left you know and this should yeah this should be the game then. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna win the game with Flame Body here. Um, so yeah, that's it. Sorry, it's a little loud. I didn't think it would be loud, but anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this more serious episode. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you have suggestions, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Peace. After this thing faints. All right, that's a four zero. Is that a four zero? I think it is. Nothing died. Mm, yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.